In this video, we will look at the surface anatomy of the supraingual approach to the fascia iliaca block. The block should be performed using the high frequency linear probe. With the patient in the supine position, first identify the anterior superior iliac spine. Place the ultrasound probe directly over this point in a parasagittal orientation. Start to move the probe medially and tilt it so that the head of the probe is scanning the lateral aspect of the pelvis. You may need to rotate the probe in order to optimize your image. When performing the block, the needle will be pointing in a cephalic direction and will be entering about two centimeters inferior to the end of the probe. Now we look at some of the images that can be obtained when the probe is maneuvered in the way demonstrated. Here we can see the probe begins over the anterior superior iliac spine. It is initially moved medially and then with a small degree of rotation, we're soon able to get a clear image where we can identify some key structures. It is often helpful to identify structures in order from deepest to most superficial. So here we see the ilium of the pelvis, which has characteristic bony features and a hyperechoic periosteum the tropoid shadowing below. The iliacus muscle, which is easily identified as it is the only muscle passing over the top of the ilium and out of the pelvis. And finally the fascia iliaca, which overlies the iliacus muscle and under which we will deposit local anaesthetic. Structures to be avoided when performing the block include the deep circumflex iliac artery and any visceral structures. On this image, we can see some bile coming into view on the left-hand side of the screen. If we are in the correct position, moving the probe inferiorly, we should be able to see the sartorius muscle start to come into view. When performing the block, the operator will feel a characteristic pop as the needle pierces the fascia iliaca. Correct needle placement will result in hydrodissection of the fascia away from the muscle upon injection of local anaesthetic with spread in a cephalad direction. Aim to inject a large volume of local anaesthetic, usually 40 to 50 mils, without exceeding the maximum dose for that patient. The fascia iliaca block provides effective analgesia for hip fracture patients and for hip surgery. The supraingual approach in particular is safe, easy to perform, and reliably blocks the three targeted nerves.